Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am I does this. Welcome back, or if you are new, welcome to part two of ranking all ten legendary weapons currently available to you in the demo. If you are new and have not watched part one yet, head on over to the description down below, where I will leave a link to that video. It is time top five ranked legendary weapons. So without further ado, let's get it. Number five, Voodoo Matchmaker. This is an assault rifle with a clip size of 40. Easily manageable recoil and a slight increase in bullet spread the longer you fire. Its tier 3 mod is ultimate link. Shots link up to two enemies, sharing 30% of their weapon damage dealt and 10% of their anomaly damage dealt. Its tier 1 mod is vulnerability bullets. Shots inflict vulnerable on enemies. Cool down of 8 seconds. This will be a good ad clearing weapon with the mods it has. The vulnerability mod will make enemies take more damage while the ultimate link mod will deal damage to two enemies at the same time, leaving you with a weaker enemy to deal with after the initial enemy. This voodoo matchmaker looks like a weapon taken straight from a voodoo witchcraft bench. The voodoo doors hanging off the barrel, charms, bones and then there's the fire. This is what a legendary should look like. Number 4. Torment and Agony. This is a pistol with a clip size of 40. Because of its fast fire rate, the recoil is quite high but manageable. The bullet spread also widens quite a bit the longer you fire. Its tier 3 mod is Judgment Enforcer. Shots mark enemies. When reloading, deal 5 times your weapon's damage to every marked enemy. Marks are removed when you change your weapon. Its tier 1 mod is Clip Combustion. Reloading weapon creates a shockwave, dealing X amount of damage to enemies within a 5 meter radius. This weapon, or its mod, Judgment Enforcer, will be great at ad clearing early and late game. Shoot every enemy you can see and then continue to unload the clip onto a single enemy or boss. Then as you reload, all the enemies you shot will take 5 times the damage your weapon deals. The blue glow with the flames emitting from it make this weapon look amazing. You may see a pattern here of why these weapons are ranked the way they are. Number 3. Thunderbird. This is an assault rifle with a clip size of 40. Very easily manageable recoil and very little bullet spread. This tier 3 mod is ultimate storm whip. Shots bring down lightning on an enemy, dealing X amount of damage. This tier 2 mod is Striegel. 30% of critical damage is returned to you as health. This weapon on paper should be number 1 in terms of the way it looks, the mods, and the cool lightning it brings down when hitting an enemy. The looks. I mean, the bone structure, the blue glow, the lightning emitting from it, and that blue pulsing ball with the blue flames emitting from it, just beautiful. I am a sucker for glow and effects on weapons. The ultimate storm whip mod, just think of me all near, but a gun version. As long as your aim is on point, the Striegel mod can keep your health up with that 30% when dealing critical damage. Number 2. Airy Master. This is a pump action shotgun with a clip size of 3. Its bullet spread is quite wide. Its tier 3 mod is weightlessness. Shots inflict time rift on enemies. Time rift raises the enemy into the air for 5 seconds. Its tier 1 mod is critical point. Increases the chance of scoring a critical shot by 15%. A clean looking shotgun with an eagle on top. The weightlessness mod is what makes this weapon number 2. It interrupts elites using skills and suspends them into the air for 5 seconds. As of the demo, I made a trickster, and this weapon with the trickster's twisted rounds ability, they don't even have a chance of getting a hit in. I am not sure how critical shots work as of the demo. So far it seems it is tied to headshots weak points, but an extra 15% chance of hitting a critical shot is bonus damage that the area master already does a ton of. And finally, number 1. Rare Rock's Gaze. This is a rifle with a clip size of 8. Easily manageable recoil and a nice fire rate. Its tier 3 mod, Weakness Trap. Shots cause explosions, dealing X amount of damage and inflicting weakness on enemies within a 5 meter radius of the target. Cooldown of 3 seconds. Its tier 1 mod, Burning Bullets. Shots inflict burn on enemies. Cooldown of 8 seconds. The weakness trap mod deals extra damage because of the shots causing explosions on hit, but also causing weakness which makes the enemies deal less damage. 
Burning bullets more than inflicts burn on enemies. This weapon is probably a pyromancer's best friend. This is my number one pretty much because of aesthetic. I mean damn, that purple glow, the purple swirl effect surrounding the barrel of the gun, that's enough to make it number one. It brings me back to my old days of playing MMORPGs where you could enhance your weapons and at a certain level of enhancement, the weapon slash armor would gain a glow effect surrounding that piece. That was my way of showing off and saying to people, my weapon slash armor is better than yours. Ha ha ha. And with that, it's time to end the video. I hope you enjoyed part 2 of my ranking all 10 legendary weapons in the Outriders demo. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, subscribe and turn on notifications. Just do it! To see when I post my next video. Thanks for watching. I does this.